Hello, this is Alex again, and today I'm really excited because a new Minecraft update just came out. It's called 1.3. It's a new patch, and there's a whole lot of stuff in it. Um, I'm gonna be making a new world. There's a lot of new, uh, cool stuff. There's creative survival hardcore, just as usual. But there's allow bonus chests. They are no cheats, where you can like change your game mode and get XP. So I'm gonna put them on bonus chests. I think they give you some extra stuff. There's large biomes, and I'm gonna be using that for a seed. There's a seed that spawns you next to a bunch of cool stuff that I'm gonna be showing you. So this is the seed. It's <laughs> really weird but see this bum 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 it um i really hope it works i don't want to like mess up my whole video because the seed doesn't work so just remember that seed it's bum 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 b u m b u m b u m you have to have large biomes for it to work i tested it out last time so uh, 1.3 is pretty bugged, I think, because it actually messes up your Minecraft, so your character is, like, all black. Well, well I'm supposed to be a Viking skin, skin, but apparently I'm not, so... There, that's the bonus chest. Inside, there's an... Whoa, that's cool. Some axe, some wood. Oh, it actually says the name of the type of wood. That's really cool. So instead of like it just saying normal wood, it says oak wood. And then it might see. So I'm just gonna take those torches. Over there, that is a jungle temple. So that's like the main thing I'm gonna be showing off in the video, but I'm also gonna be showing some o other stuff. Over some past experience. Like, I tried to filming this video uh, before, but I'm using a new program and I didn't know how to it works, so I clicked the wrong button and it messed it up so I had to refilm it so this is my um, filming part two so there's some hidden chests they're right underneath the wall I was sort of dumb so I didn't know where it was so you're supposed to dig down and there's some chests there's the same stuff as last time there's a lot of gold whoa what yeah there's a whole lot of gold there's more than last time Whoa, the diamonds. 29 gold. My gosh, there's like a whole lot of gold. Also, do not step on the pressure plate. I thought that if you step on it, it might open a layer to another chest, which was pretty stupid. But actually, if you do step on it, it ignites like... Mm, I think... How much TNT? 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, three, one, two th 9 pieces of TNT. Um, if I stepped on that, it would have completely annihilated me and all of my chests. So, now I'm gonna dig my way back up. It's a really cool, um, I really like the idea. They're like overground dungeons that are easier to find. Or no, they're actually pretty hard to find. It would have took, I tried to find a jungle temple or no, a desert temple without the seed a lot of times and it took, I like looked for half an hour and I couldn't find one but the seed is really awesome the temples are really cool designed um, there's the another really cool thing in this update there are desert specific villages as it said in the forums so there um, it's like a normal, oh god, there's a spider. It's like a normal village, but everything's replaced with sandstone instead of, like, wood, which are normal villagers. I mean, like, in normal villages. Um, so, I hope you can't hear any noise in the background. If you do, it's like, no big deal, I hope. They're pr pretty much the same design as other villages, except I don't think these have bell towers or churches or whatever whatever they're called um they this there's another really cool thing in this update and I'm going to be going to creative mode to show it off 
you can do it in survival mode, but I'm too lazy to get all this stuff. So, let me just, and there's a search, and there's a new design for creative mode. You have, and they give you all the potions in creative mode, which is really useful. Because you'd have to make the potions, which just takes a lot of time. So they added emeralds, emerald blocks, and emerald ore. Emerald ore only spawns in extreme hills biomes, and they're like 30 times rare, but that's not important. So. You can now trade with villagers. Oh, well, now villagers are like 49% more useful. Yeah. So you can trade with them. I'm gonna. So I'm just gonna use this one as an example. If you want 16 raw chicken for one emerald, I would put 16 raw chicken in that box and um, my one emerald would pop up there. I would take the chicken, I mean, I would take the emerald, he would take the chicken. He would be happy and bubbles would start coming out of them, which is weird. So when you trade with the villager, he gets happy and then gives you more trade options and better trades. So, there's no villager that wants to trade emeralds for emeralds. Then, each villager gives you different stuff, like a butcher would give you meat. I would think he would give you meat, but there's a butcher's house. Um, well... Um, that butcher just fell into the ground. Oh my god, what? Yeah, he's still alive, but he just fell into the ground. So, that's pretty much it I wanted to be showing in this video. Alex's Minecraft Spotlight. You know what? I'm just going to give it a different name. Minecraft Spotlight sounds pretty boring. I'm going to give it a more interesting name. Uh, it's interesting. Mindtopia. Yeah, that's a cool name. So, thank you for watching this episode of Mindtopia. Like, the first episode. Um, anyway, goodbye, people.